it going? I moved. I believe the last video you saw of mine was a vlog in Las Vegas. Yeah, a lot of things have happened since that video went out and pretty much right after that went out, an idea arose. An idea for me to move out to California to help my grandma by driving her places, taking out the trash, grocery shopping, you know, stuff like that. And let me tell you, it is so awesome. I have my bike here that I rode in. I take this more than my car. I have an office that is separate from my bedroom and that has been huge for my productivity. Having a change in scenery is huge. I was cooped up in my room for like a year and I got cabin fever. Remember when I said my only New Year's resolution was to move out in 2021? I did it, I kind of cheated but I did it. Of course, in Las Vegas, I'm missing Angel and all my other YouTube friends who I made out there. I actually remember telling him. It was his birthday, we were going to Mount Charleston, and on the way back, I said, basically, you remember my grandma who we visited in California. Our family is thinking of moving me into her house. And he was like, yeah, I support it. And of course, Vegas isn't even that far. It's like a four hour drive and a 45 minute flight, so like, I mean, pull through. So I drove out here for three weeks as kind of a trial period to see if this was something that could work. Turns out it was, and now I am back for real. Angel gave me road trip candy, we hung out at a park. I left for three weeks, made some friends here, made some connections, got a few job opportunities. I went back to Vegas, did some more editing, packed up a few more things, and I came back. Now I'm here for real. What? Are you leaving today? Yeah. What time? Well, <laughs> It was supposed to be right now, but I woke up really late. You want to be in the video? Yeah. What do you want to say? Hello. You're still doing YouTube? Kinda. It is way later than I thought it would be, but I was up late editing last night till like 2 a.m. and... Jeez. Yeah, right? It's fine though. I got that project exported and now I can actually pack things up. Like, I did not pack anything up. I mean, like, I got my clothes and bags, but like, all my camera stuff... Ooh, my desk is messy. I got a lot of work to do right now. No. Trash can, bag, bag. We should fold this up. I kind of made my bed. So now, I think that's everything. Of all, of all the grandkids in our family, I'm like the most suited to do this. Other grandkids are over the age of 18, but they're in college or they have jobs. For me, I'm not in school and I have a job, but that job is based at home. So really it doesn't matter where I am. Well, no, I take that back because even though I am a video editor, there is actually one job that I have where I do need to be in California. Normally being a video editor is very flexible. I remember when I went to Salt Lake City for fun in October, I loved it up there. The people there are nice. The photo spots are epic. I was like, so in my head, like I'm gonna move to Utah. Be because it's awesome. But you know, sometimes life just throws you a curveball and you end up driving south on I-15 instead of north. I've been stuck here, basically in this room for all of 2020, pretty much. And I was going crazy. I don't really have that many complaints. I mean, I'm living in California where it's much more bikeable than Las Vegas. And I love riding my bike and rent free. Like who, who moves to California rent free? And of course there's work opportunities, right? It's Southern California, Los Angeles. Not to mention when we start having networking events again and we can actually go and talk to people. I feel like if I want to make more YouTube videos, a lot of those people move to Los Angeles. I don't really want to get into the negatives of moving to California. There are a lot of them. Gas is expensive, groceries are expensive. That's why I'm going to be riding my bike more is because like, I don't want to pay for gas if I don't have to. I mean, most of my trips are to the grocery store. And being a self-employed person, the taxes in California, I am not looking forward to those. The opportunity to network in real life with other people that make YouTube videos and stuff, that, I feel like it would be worth the extra taxes. I am still so stoked for the, the change in scenery, just the new opportunities that'll come out of this. I can't wait. This is definitely the most full I've ever had the car. I got clothes, all my computer stuff is accounted for. Plenty board, of course. Ethernet, cables, storage, some lights, bike pump, hand sanitizer, speaker, more cables, fidget cube. Camera, that's important. Wow, I can't believe it. I have everything, I think, and <sighs> We're about to go to California again. What time is it? It is 11, it's almost 11.30 right now. I was hoping to be out of here like two hours ago, so. I'm gonna go say bye to my family first. I am out. Okay. 
Love you too. Drive safe. Bye. Here we go. I realized I never said bye to my favorite. Louie? Yeah. Louie! I'm leaving. pretty much whenever I want. <sighs> That's awesome. You see, here in America, we people really love our cars, and especially in the West Coast, all of our cities are built to accommodate cars. But where I'm based is far more bike friendly than any other part of America I've been to probably. Okay, so let's kind of talk about the fact that I didn't upload for a few months there. So since giving up the consistent weekly YouTube grind, I have had more time to scale my business, just like I said in my scaling back video. I have built my business up more. So one of the biggest things that happened was I started editing for one of my favorite YouTube channels. I posted this picture of one of my timelines and it blew up. I'll link one of the videos up here in the eye of the sky. So I haven't been doing the YouTube grind, but I've been doing the freelance video editor grind and it has paid off so far. I really don't know what to, what else to say. I have edited the rest of this video and it felt just kind of incomplete at the end. So I'm recording this kind of on a whim. I haven't made a personal video in so long that this video has taken me forever to make. Just um, seeing myself on camera again, it's a weird feeling once again. If you like this video, subscribe if you want to, but I can guarantee that consistency is probably not gonna be a thing. Wait, no, I can't say guarantee and then use probably in the sentence. I'm probably not gonna be consistent but also I might be. I'm not gonna take YouTube super seriously. If you see a random video from me every now and then, cool. But consistency not guaranteed. So I definitely want to make a video when I feel like I have something to add, but I really, really wanna come back to YouTube easily with experience now, knowing that I should not just make content for the sake of making content. So yeah. I'm moved to California. I'm living with my grandma. It's awesome. Hey, how'd you like to meet my grandma? Let's meet my grandma. Grandma, do you want to see anything? Oh, oh my goodness. Happy Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter, today is Easter. <laughs> Did you ever think we'd ever be sitting here in our house on Easter without other family members? <laughs> I never, I didn't ever think that would happen, no. I know. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel that I'm living here now? I, I'm, I'm not unhappy uh, with it. I'm, uh, it isn't perfect every day, but you know what? I lived with that man for many years and it wasn't perfect every day either. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm gonna end this video now. Um, don't ask me when I'm gonna post the next one because I have no idea. Thank you. Thank you. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.